Manage and edit your record box collection across all your devices. Cloud Library Sync is a powerful new feature inside Record Box 6. Let's take a look at how this feature works and how to get set up and running on your computer and mobile device. Cloud Library Sync stores your tracks and metadata in the cloud so you can manage your music and play tracks on all your devices, wherever you are. This feature brings several key benefits to your Record Box experience. You can integrate your individual libraries from different devices into one single library. You can prepare playlists, tracks, and metadata using your iOS device, and these changes will be instantly reflected on your main studio computer or laptop. You can also use Cloud Library Sync to back up your music, so if your computer goes missing or gets damaged, the tracks and metadata in your DJ library will be kept up to date and safely stored in the cloud. It's important to understand how Cloud Library Sync manages metadata and audio files when syncing between your devices and the cloud. Metadata is the information about the tracks. Things like memory cues, hot cues, grid info, BPM, and the playlist status. This information is kept synchronized via the cloud and is stored on our record box servers. Audio data is the actual audio information needed to play the music. Recordbox keeps your audio data synchronized using the cloud service Dropbox. Metadata is synced automatically between all devices over the internet. This means the information about your Recordbox collection is always kept up to date. Audio data is synced a little differently, and the process depends on the type of device you're syncing. When syncing between computers, the audio data is synced automatically. However, when syncing between a mobile device and a computer, you need to download the audio files to a mobile device manually. This is especially useful if you have a limited amount of space available on your device. To use Cloud Library Sync, you'll need a Recordbox Creative Plan subscription and a Dropbox account. You can register for an account at dropbox.com. The Dropbox Basic account gives you two gigabytes of storage. If you want to increase the amount of storage, you can upgrade to the Plus or Professional plan. You also need to install the Dropbox client on your computer, so Dropbox can integrate with Recordbox. Click Download and follow the instructions on the installer. Now Dropbox is set up, let's move on to Recordbox. Let's register and activate a creative plan. Click on My Page and select Plan. If you currently use either the free or core plan, you'll need to upgrade. To upgrade, press the dots here and select Change Your Plan. You'll be directed to the Recordbox website. Select Creative Plan and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. You'll be guided through to make your payment and confirm your subscription. Once you've subscribed to the Creative Plan, activate it in Recordbox. Then, click on Library Sync and activate Library Sync to another device. Now click on Merge to upload your library to the cloud. We'll go into more detail on the merging process later. Next, click Login to Dropbox. You'll be redirected to your web browser to accept the Dropbox Recordbox integration. Click Allow. Recordbox shows you information on how Cloud Library Sync works. Once you've read through these helpful tips, press Close. Let's choose some music to upload to the cloud. You can select individual tracks, your whole collection, or individual playlists to upload. Let's upload this playlist here. Right-click on the playlist and select Cloud Library Sync, Upload, and then Dropbox. You can either choose to copy or move your files. Copying makes a duplicate of your files and adds them to the Dropbox folder. This is useful if these files are referenced by other applications on your computer because it won't change their original location. If you move files, they'll be removed from your original location and stored in the Dropbox folder. This is a great option if your computer or device is short on space, but it might affect other applications if they need to reference the location of those files. Let's select Copy. The files are copied to the Dropbox folder and uploaded to the cloud. Now, let's do some track preparation in Recordbox. Let's make a change to one of the tracks in this playlist. We'll add some hot cues, a hot loop, and we'll add an active loop here. 
To ensure your metadata is always up to date on your devices, Recordbox regularly synchronizes with its server. This is an automatic process that happens every 10 to 30 seconds. To update metadata instantly across your device, you can sync changes manually by clicking on the Recordbox icon in the taskbar up here. Click on it and press Sync Now. Now let's set up Recordbox on your iOS device. Tap the gear icon to enter the settings menu and log into your Recordbox account. Enter your user details and press login. Now go back to the account information page. Activate your creative plan and start Cloud Library Sync. Recordbox will ask you to sign into your Dropbox account. Enter your account information and press sign in. Finally, when you're prompted, press Allow to accept the Dropbox and Recordbox integration. Your library metadata is automatically synchronized with what's on the cloud. You can check this in your collection view. Now let's download our audio files. Press the three dots here to select which tracks you want to download. You can select individual tracks like this or select all tracks here. Press this icon to download the tracks. You can see the download status of each track here. You can also see your synced playlists here. Let's have a look at the track we edited earlier. It's been synchronized with our mobile device, and we can see the hot cues, hot loops, and active loop information here. Recordbox can import music stored on your iOS device. It recognizes tracks from the music app. This might be music you've bought or tracks imported to your music library. Let's import some tracks to Recordbox, add them to a new playlist, and sync them to the cloud. In Recordbox, go to the Settings menu and tap Import Songs. We'll select these songs. Click this icon to import the tracks. Now go back into your collection and scroll to the bottom to see these newly added songs. This progress bar indicates that Recordbox is analyzing the tracks for their key and beat grid information. Now, let's add these tracks to a new playlist and upload to the cloud. Press here. Then click this arrow to select a playlist. Then press Create New Playlist. Let's create one called Phone Imports. Now, select the tracks and press this icon to add them to the playlist. Press here to enter the playlist. Then select all the tracks and press the cloud with the up arrow to upload to the cloud. Switching back to Recordbox, we can see that this playlist has been automatically synchronized with our laptop. What about syncing two computers together? And what if they both have Recordbox libraries on them with the same tracks and playlists? In this case, if Cloud Library Sync is activated on both computers, the libraries are merged. Recordbox does this to protect your data. Please consider this when cloud syncing similar libraries, as duplicate tracks and playlists are created. Installing Recordbox 6 will not overwrite Recordbox 5. When you update your library to Recordbox 6, it creates a new library. You can still access your Recordbox 5 library. However, changes and edits made in Recordbox 5 will not be reflected in your Recordbox 6 library. One thing to note is that if you update to Recordbox 6 and move your files when performing Cloud Library Sync, you'll have to relocate your missing files if you move back to version 5. And that's it! Be sure to subscribe to our channel and visit our website for more information on Recordbox.